exist only because of our identification with the body. If we see that I am spirit soul, and I'm simply using this body, then the problems belong to the body, not to myself. So I don't have to get upset about them. The problems may still be there, but they don't affect me. I don't become upset, I don't become entangled. This is much easier to deal with. Huh? It's just like we have this old truck. It's always breaking down. Always some problem. But it doesn't make it doesn't make us upset. Because it's just a truck. We can get into it and use it and then we get out of it and it doesn't affect us. Similarly, the body, it's like a vehicle, it's like, like a car or a truck. Right now we're riding in the vehicle. Then at night we, we get out of the vehicle and we go into the other vehicle. <laughs> and we dream. And where is that body? So, this body is not the self. And the proof is that at night we dream and we go in another body. So we should not let the problems of this body affect us. They're all temporary anyway. Just like the, temp the problems in the dream body. In the dream we may have so many problems. But when we wake up the problems are finished. Okay. Any other questions or discussion on this point before we move on? Yes. Okay. You were talking about, you give the example of anger, uh, and first we own our anger, uh, and we realize that yes, we are angry, and then we are able to disidentify with the reason for our anger. Because we, we can see that, yes, we are not that object, we are not, that is not my real situation and so on. But uh, eventually, doesn't this get to a point where we don't get angry at all because the fact that we are not these situations, <laughs> uh, you know, is so deeply rooted that, you know, nothing bothers us? No, that's an artificial idea. The thing is that anger, like, like any other emotion, is a quality of the soul. Krishna gets angry. It's okay to get angry. <laughs> Where's the stick? <laughs> really? That <laughs> it's okay to get angry, but when we suffer, when we get identified with the anger, that's the difference. Try to understand. Huh? Uh, I, I keep bringing up that saying, and I don't know if anybody really gets it. Pain is required. Pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. See? Pain is going to happen. This body has always got some kind of pain, especially when it gets old. Huh? But suffering is an attitude toward pain. When we become a victim of the pain, then we suffer. But if we don't identify with the pain, the pain is happening in the body, but I'm not this body, then I'm not suffering, am I? 
So similarly, anger is going to happen, either in the body or the mind or in the soul. But if we can look at that anger and say, well, this is my anger, but I am not this anger, then we're not angry. The anger is happening. Can't stop that. Just like we can't stop the heat in the summer and the cold in the winter. It's going to happen. Not that we should want to stop anger. That's artificial. Just like Prabhupada says, you can't stop war. You can't stop fighting. Children, animals, even plants are competing and fighting over different resources, different needs that they have. Uh, even insects, even, even bacteria, they're competing, they're fighting. Uh, cells, some cells are attacking other cells, and then these other cells make antibodies, and they kill the, the, the attacking cells. Uh, everything, there's fighting in the material world. Uh, because in the material world, one living entity's desires conflict with another living entity's desires. Huh? They're, they're fighting over the, the, the same resources. In the spiritual world, there's no fighting because there's every, everything is completely abundant and properly managed. And we could have that here in the material world if we were intelligent. But because <laughs> there's always a section of, of human beings that's not intelligent, and right now they happen to be in the majority. So there's fighting. So you can't stop war, you can't stop anger. All these things are part of the qualities of the soul. They're part of the qualities or changes of life in different times, different situations. So the, the question is not how to stop anger or how to stop violence or how to stop fighting. The question is how to um, remove our identification with these things so that they don't make us suffer. The, the real issue is the suffering, not the anger. See? To, be, to be under their control. Like Krishna talks about yeah. like lust, anger, and greed. You know, these things will drag us down to hell. Yeah. So that's only when we identify with them so much that we act under their influence rather than yeah. be able to withdraw at will. Exactly. Them. Exactly. Withdraw is different from denial. You see, Arjuna had to become angry to fight the battle of Kurukshetra. If you're not angry, you can't fight. See? But his anger was held in the context of service to Krishna. Therefore, his anger did not cause him distress. In the beginning, it was causing him to suffer. Oh, these, you know, I mean, his relatives did everything to him. Every kind of crime, every kind of conspiracy, every kind of dirty trick, they did. So was Arjuna angry? You bet he was. They tried to rape his wife right in the assembly of the Kurus. So many things they did. So, of course he was angry, but he was, also, he was conflicted and he was thinking, I'm not supposed to be angry at my relatives and like that. Because he was identified with the body and the body has relatives and the relatives, you're not supposed to be angry, but yet I am angry. And ah, oh, he was all conflicted. So after hearing Bhagavad Gita, then he wasn't conflicted anymore. He wasn't identified with the body anymore. He wasn't identified either with the relatives or with the anger. He could own his anger, and he could be responsible for his anger, and he could act on it without being attached. You see? That was the, that's the secret of Bhagavad Gita. Not to try to stop anger, but to stop our attachment, to stop our, our being controlled by it because of being identified with it. If we're in control of our anger, we can use it like a tool. See? Like this body. If this body is controlling us, oh, I want this, I want that. Give me this, give me that. Do this, do that. Then we're suffering because the spirit soul is not meant to be controlled by matter. 
See, the spirit soul is meant to be the superior to matter. So we're in an incompatible situation if we're controlled by the body. But when we, when we control the body, then we can use the body in devotional service, and that's very nice. So everybody's clear on this now? I'd like to move along. Okay, put the mic the other way. Facing the other way. Facing toward you. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 